Okay, folks, what I've done here, I've got lines marked on it where I want the, the holes. I've center punched up here to be able to, what I'm going to do is I'll take the uh, centering bit and I'm actually going to start the hole straight just a little bit and then that way when I come in it, it'll it catch and be able to angle. Now you can see that these are two little bit different angles but it really don't matter. I was going, you know, I just wanted to get to this, the port. The port's a little this way of the, of the actual bolt. So and it's the same way on the other side. So I mean, it's not a big deal. But uh, what we'll do is, is uh, put the bit in and then we'll turn this until the bit's, you know, parallel with that. And I'll show you that here in just a second and uh, of how I want to do it. Go ahead and get these started and then we'll we'll get it set up right okay you can see what I mean here I've got the drill bit uh, above and just running down you know parallel with the with the line I made and then uh, you know I'll get it perfect and then I'll raise the drill up move it in and and start drilling and just hope that you know be good and slow about it and you know make sure it don't move off anywhere of course you know I've got my my little uh, starter slots there I put in it, so we'll see what she looks like. Alright, here we are drilling one, and like I said, I've, I've got it on power feed, got it on back gear, nice and slow, and uh, it'll take a little while, but it'll go on to it. It's not hard work though, sitting and watching. Alright, show you more shortly. Alright, fellas, she's chugging away at it. Uh, you stop every little bit and clean the chips out, but uh, just coming on down nice and slow. You know, no reason to be in any hurry. But uh, I'll show you what it looks like when we get through all the way. Okay, folks, so we got one, one through here. We'll get it in there where you can see the bit. And uh, so. Now we got three more holes to do, and as you can see, I didn't, I didn't uh, mill this all the way through, and there really wasn't a reason to, but there was more of a reason not to. That uh, you don't have to worry about the gasket blowing below it, you know. It is more surface area, so uh, we've got that taken care of, and we'll get the other one and do the other side, and you know, it's not really any precision work it's you know you could lay it out and measure it out and you know do it like a real machinist i guess but you know you end up with the same results and uh you know this is not critical stuff anyway so uh, i'll show you more once i get it done okay folks here's where we stand on this uh got you know everything done on the plate i've got our our exhaust ports board in the side uh, started cleaning this up just a little bit and I still haven't machined the other side of it where it's rough or grounded at all but what I'm gonna do this will uh, this will be the top side when I'm done so I'm gonna actually probably take half inch by half inch solid stock and run on the inside top of this wall and weld it from the bottom side and I'm gonna do that before I weld this down on it and I'm going to do it for two reasons. Of course, that way we can have you know a good place to mount our top for our steam chest, but also so we can uh, flip this thing over and be able to hold it down to be able to uh, to machine this this top once I grind it. And uh, you know, because I as it is right now, I, I, there's no good way of holding it. I don't want to. I don't want to put a holder on there and then have to stop, move it, and then you know go back to grind or machining on it. So I will grind this off. I'll get our pieces welded in, uh, get them clamped down on the table, get that good and straight. And like I said, this will be the bottom. This will be the top. And uh, we'll trim the corners and do a little you know v grind around that and go ahead and get it welded on there and uh we'll get our centerpiece welded in and might go ahead and make our exhaust manifolds that's going to come out and i'm going to try to run two pipes straight up one on each side but uh 
And I'm gonna try to uh, try to get the videos, you know, a, a little shorter so it don't take so long. You won't have to listen to me ramble. I don't want to bore you to death on this thing, but uh, you know, I don't. If someone wants to build one. I want to make sure they get to see, you know, everything we've got to do on it. But uh, we'll get back at it. Now, the only other thing I've seen is when they put these pieces on there, one of them's kind of a little bit crooked and sit back a little bit when they uh, they brazed them on. But you know, we're going to check that braze out good and everything. But I mean, that you know, we'll live with that. Uh, unfortunately, but that's the way it's got to go. And uh, but we'll stop this here. And next video, you should see this machined, and we should be able to get it, you know, welded down and start getting things finished up here. And uh, on the steam chest anyway. And then uh, we'll have to start making our D valves and our linkage. And uh, we'll see if we can't get it full of lead and go ahead and hopefully get it fired and running for too long. All right. Bye.